And again, like again, it's like I'm here flat on my back. I look for the, the elbow, I dig in, I bridge, come in, boom, get into the butterfly. Boom, get right into the mouth. Right into the arm bar. Oh, I don't have the overhook. Now I only have the underhook. So I might, oh, I'm gonna create my space. Oh, it's the wizard. I get my lockdown. I maintain that lockdown. And look, bridge this way. Oh, release the lockdown. Get into side control. What's up? What's up? What's up, Brian? What's up, everybody? How you doing? Brian Peterson here, Teach Me Grappling. I'm back. Today I bring you Fernando Castillo, right here. I asked him to show you guys some awesome technique, and he's got some cool, is it half car? Yeah, a little bit of half car that I've been working on lately, okay. so, yeah. Okay, Fernando's a black belt. Yeah. Well, who, who, who do you want, do you, yeah. do you want to plug? What do you want to do? Oh, good, where, okay. where, where, where do you where do you tell everybody about where you train? You know, currently, right now, I I've been teaching at Straight Eye. Get a little scene. closer. Yeah, talk to this kid. Yeah, yeah. So, hey, how's uh, everybody? How you doing? So, currently, right now, I'm teaching out of CEO Talk, uh, LA. So, they're located in Monrovia. I've been there for about five, six years. I am the BJJ coach for the uh, MMA team there. Uh, but prior to that, I used to train at Half Crazy, uh, and that's sort of kind of where. I spent 12, almost 13 years of beating and working hard, and, and I want to say a shout out to Half Gracie and Carlos Saunders, uh, and also I trained with Juan de Braga, which is my master too. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, so uh, you know, uh, like I like I was saying a little early, I've been working a little bit in the half car, so if you don't mind, I'd like to show that. That'd be that'd be great. Yeah, let's okay. do it. We got Richard Leroy behind the camera. Yeah, so Richard, do you want to do it or do you want me to do it? It's, L it's Leroy. Oh, okay. yeah, Leroy. Yeah, yeah. It's just over here, Rich. All right. All right. So, okay, guys. I'm going to pass it off now. Yeah. We're going to so give it to Richard. Richard Leroy. 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 Like a little French, but, you know, he corrected me the first time. Now yeah. Leroy. I, I just called him Leroy. Leroy. Leroy, the French boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so one of the things that I've been working a lot, like, lately is my half car. And what I tell, you know, my students is, it's kind of like the old school jiu-jitsu is, is really how you position your half guard. That, that's how effective you're going to be from your half guard and really taking a path, it, whether it's going to be a sweep or it's going to be a close guard or it's going to be a back attack. But it's really how you position your half guard. The mistake that I see a lot of times is, is when you encounter, let's say, the pass, and for some reason you end up in quarter and half guard or half guard is, is the, the big mistake I see is people get really flat on their backs. So what I mean by that is, so I'm here, let's say for some reason he passed and I managed to get into half guard. And just pay attention how flat I'm on my back, right? Even if I'm like sort of kind of controlling and sometimes a lot of people doing this really well and lately, they get into this kind of lockdown on the leg and it's a little bit of resistance, but to me, it doesn't make any difference if you're flat on your back. Why? Because if you think about what's happening here on top, he has all the weight. And he's distributing that way. So even if the lockdown is really locked there, all he has to do is pummel his way in here. And look, with the underhook and the shoulder, the cross face, he's going to get out. So. This is where I see the mistake, is that everybody gets here and they get pressed off, even if they have the lockdown, right? So for me, I'm going back to the old school. It's really how you position the half guard. And this is what I learned a long time ago. One of the masters of fat guard is, uh, is Gordo, Gorginho from Brazil. And look, the key is for you to be more on your shoulder. As soon as I'm here and I, I counter this, like and some people, we're, we're, we're scramble and we end up here is right off the back is like I said okay, well I can't be up flat on my back because otherwise he's gonna deploy his pressure and he's gonna pass so right off the back I have to sort of kind of get into my shoulder so how do I do that so old school is like you bridge that's good that's effective 
I find it through the years that I like to be more, a little more efficient. So what I do is I dig by sort of kind of my elbow right in the hips. And then I deploy the upa or the bridge. But not, not too much, just enough for me to sort of kind of touch my shoulder on the floor. That's enough for me. Now here, I can start working. I can really kind of match my space. I hear if I really kind of want to get into, you know, like the shrimp and come in, get the hook, then I can pick a path. And this is where I tell a lot of people is pay attention to what I think is important out here. Is, so the half car can give you different paths, but I think the two paths that are very common is, is really like how do you end up in the close car or butterfly or deep half car or back attack, right? So if I'm here, and look at this, if this becomes an overhook, then I gotta select this path. Okay, so I manage my space, I'm gonna shrimp, and I'm gonna get into a, what I call a butterfly. Oh. Now I'm in butterfly business, right? And this here, look, sometimes here, like, uh, we can go for the sweep, but we have to make sure that we kind of feel the base, right? Right away, if I have the, uh, the underhook here, I lock this, the overhook. I lock it enough so that I can compromise the base, right? And then I just start just going, okay, oh, I'm on top. Boom, oh, right into the mouth. So, again, so I'm here, uh, and I, I have the overhook. So what I said is pick this path. I always pick the butterfly path here. So I'm gonna sort of kind of dig my elbow right into the hips. I'm gonna push those hips just enough, and at the same time, I'm gonna work my little bridge. Oh, see this leg? I'm sort of kind of like here in the lockdown. If I have the lockdown, I'm gonna release the lockdown, right? And look, I'm gonna step, and this is gonna come in inside as I shrink. Woo, now I can manage distance here. A lot of people here, and, and this is, uh, you know, there, you can be very crafty here too if you want to sort of kind of match the sweep here. A lot of people get the sweep from here, but for me it's about feeling the base. So when I have this little hook that comes in, I sort of kind of elevate. I elevate that leg. I elevate his weight on this foot. Like I want to feel his base because sometimes you're going to get a reaction. Sometimes they're going to just base, they're going to table up, they're going to drop their hips. So I understand where I'm at, right? So I don't waste a lot of energy. But as soon as I feel that the way is here, look at this, I can just kick. Oh. And right away to the mouth, right? That's one way. The one that I've been working regularly, what happens if I end up here? And let's say I don't have the overhook. Now I have the underhook. I love this move here. Why? Because it's easy for me to transition to back attack or deep half guard, or even to a, a, what I call a half guard, deep half guard sweep. So I'm here and I have this. This is my signal. I'm like, oh, I'm in business. I'm in my shoulder. I have the lockdown. What I do is I travel this hand. I met, as soon as I'm on my shoulder, I'm gonna sort of kind of place my head in this direction. I'm gonna turn this way. And look, this hand, it's gonna travel all the way to the armpit. Let's say he wizards me. Like, you know, a lot of times you get into this wizard battle. Boom, I look for the ankle. With the lockdown, I go the other way. It's a sweep. Let's say he doesn't wizard me. And as soon as I travel and I manage to anchor myself to the armpit, I shrimp out. Now, I get to the back. Oh, or a rolling arm. So, the key here is that, like I said at the beginning, is that I, I, I'm relying on my basics, old school 101, is understanding where I'm at. And the key is, if I stay here, he's gonna deploy that pressure. Even if I have this, even if I'm doing this, even like I'm pushing, ah, and I see this a lot. That's the, that's, the, that's the number one thing that we need to kind of correct right off the bat, right? If we end up in this situation here, it's not the end of the world. You just have to sort of kind of understand where you are and the right position. So I said, okay, get on, my, get on my shoulder. Now I can manage space. Now I can shrimp. I can get a knee shield. I can come in, depending on what I have. If I have the overhook, 
I'm thinking butterfly, right? Like shrimp, come in. Oh, oh, oh. If I have the underhook, like I said, I'll get on my shoulder, and depending on what I have, if I have the wizard, I go deep. I sort of kind of grip the ankle, the toes of the ankle here. And look, I bridge this way. Whoa, come in with the lockdown. So that way he doesn't recover. Boom. That's super interesting because you're like, you do the lockdown with the like outside lockdown where right. the grip is on the outside, not like Eddie Bravo when he uses the lockdown uh, the, the other way. Right, and, and, and the reason I do that is because I have that purpose. I want to sort of kind of dig right into the, uh, into the ankle, and as I sweep, I want to still have control right. of that lace. I come up. So this is what I mean. So as soon as I'm here, right, I want to control this leg, right? And you know, let's say there's a wedge right battle, battle, I bridge. See how I'm controlling the leg the whole time? Yeah. And look at this. Release the figure four. Boom, right inside the So it, I don't think there, to me, I don't think there's a, a right or wrong on the lockdown. Yeah. But I prefer that way, just to sort of kind of have yeah. control. Exactly. And that, that lockdown will help you when you go to the back. Exactly. Like when you go to the back, that's the same kind of vine you exactly. want. Exactly. I'm thinking like, I'm always thinking in Jiu Jitsu like, couple steps ahead. couple steps ahead, you know? And that's where I say like every position, every move, every grip that you have has a purpose, right? So if one thing fails, you're already kind of going, you're maneuvering yourself to the other move. And that's mm -hmm. how I feel with this lockdown for me on this side. So, but I mean, I use, sometimes I use the, uh, the Bravo way and it, it's, it's still the same sweep, but I, I scramble a little bit to get that side control. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. Anyway, so that's sort of kind of like what I've been working lately in. That's awesome. Can you, can you do it real quick? Do it, let's see some quick versions of it. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And, and you can just flow with it, like whatever, however you feel. Yeah, like, so just do some attacks. Oh. Nice. Oh. Coming right into the arm bar. That's sweet. You can even talk through it if you want yeah, real so, Just do it quick and just yeah, you talk yeah, through it. You sort of kind of get it like, again, it's like I'm here flat on my back. I look for the, the elbow, I dig in, I bridge, come in, boom, get into the butterfly. Boom, get right into the mouth. Right into the arm bar. Nice. Oh, I don't have the overhook. I only have the underhook. So I, oh, I'm gonna create my space. Oh, it's the wizard. I get my lockdown. I maintain that lockdown. And look, bridge this way. Oh, release the lockdown. Get into side control. Wow. Nice. Sweet. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. We got Fernando Castillo, Richard Leroy. They're helping us out today, Teach Me Grappling. So good to have you guys here so showing us some Thank you, brother, awesome technique. Here, Thank yep. you. All right, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy, guys. Yeah. Please Jeez. click click the link down below. Let them know, everybody. Click that link down below. There's a link down there in the description. Go ahead and then uh, support this channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a new technique. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. All right.